Hey everybody, it's Cooking with Antibus. I'm actually going to show you what I do. Um, last time I did a written kind of how I would do it according to the recipe book. Which is this cute little book here. It's my mother's recipe book. But sometimes the recipes can be a little literal and vague. So, first thing you want to do. Figure out what you're going to do. We're going to make meatloaf. Why? Because we have a whole bunch of beef. So I went to start this earlier and figured out the container or the wrapping um, that we had that said beef on it wasn't minced beef, it was beef sausages, so I just defrosted some. So there's actually a few pieces on here that are really hot to touch, like this one, um, because I defrosted them in the microwave and I kind of cooked the edges a bit. So you want to know what you're going to make, which is the classic meatloaf from our family. Um, and make sure you have everything. So you want your measuring cups. We only need one different one measurement for this. You want your teaspoons and your tablespoons. Can't find the actual measuring spoons, so we're using real spoons. You want your onion flakes, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, an egg, salt, pepper, milk, and our oats. And your containers to do it. So your mixing container and your cooking one. So the oven is on preheat. It's going to be preheated at 350 Celsius Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, 350 Fahrenheit. And now we're going to mix everything. So according to the recipe, which doesn't really say what order anything is to be done in, so I'm going to go literally what it tells me to do. So a pound and a half of ground beef. I think this is a little bit more, but you know what? That's okay. We like meat. You want one beaten egg. So if I was writing this down, I would take this and I'd punch the living daylight out of it. But because I don't like eggs, let alone egg shell, I'm going to do it properly. I take it. I know. Auntie doesn't like eggs. Ew. Horrible her. I forgot to mention one other thing. Wash your hands first. I already washed my hands, which is why I'm going right into it. So anyways, horrible her. I should clarify. I like pickled eggs, and I'm okay with hard boiled eggs at like Easter time or whatever, but I just, I'm not an egg person. So I'm beating it with a fork in a bowl. Not that hard. And now it says to beat that, or rather it says go directly to the milk. Um, but because I'm actually learning how to cook properly, I know that that actually needs to put it in here. So we're going to put it in here. So when it's done, it goes directly into the soup ready for washing. Next is three quarter cup of milk. So here's my three quarter cup, here's my milk. Now if I was draining it down, I probably would have grabbed one of these cups and fill it three quarters away. But again, I'm actually learning how to do this properly. So three quarters cups of milk into the bowl. Milk. I'm anal, I put things away. The so milk goes in the fridge. And three quarter cup of oats. Um, that's normally used to beef it up to put more meat in it. I think we'll do it anyways. We have a lot of meat, but you know what? Let's get ourselves some fiber. So three quarter cup of oats. This is rolled oats, which is, I guess, what this is. I'm going to put that in there. I know I should put that in first because of the milk to make it wet. Now it's all sticky. But that's why you wash your hands. And you can hear my dog walking around on the floor because I'm in the kitchen. So now he's going to be like, oh my god, dude. And that is done with the three quarter cup. Yes, I am. Okay. Instant plates. One tablespoon. Onion plates. Tablespoon. Or sauce. We're going to call it war sauce because that's actually what I call it. Because I get tongue tied on Worcestershire sauce. Good. And that's the oven telling me that it's just about ready. Um, tables, teaspoon and a half of salt. See, I have a ground salt and I kind of know what it is, so we're going to go like this. Because we don't use shakers, we use sea salt, which is delicious. Delicious. And same amount of pepper. 
I can just record a few teaspoons. So I wonder if you do it as much. So you want a good amount in there. That should be good. That is more salt. They have a big glop. Big glop that you want to mix all together. I'm going to put it away because it goes over there. So again, make sure your hands are washed. Mine were before I did this. You should be washed at this point too. And you just mix it all together. Into a nice big loop. So our meat is great. It's 100% Alberta beef. Yay Alberta beef. I'm very fond of it. Best tasting beef I've ever tasted. And I've tasted quite a few different beefs. Um, my mom gets it from Acme Meat Market. So do I, so is my dad, um, so is my friend and her mom. Why? Because it's good meat. It's on 95th Street and 76th Avenue. Yes, that's right. Um, it's a cute little beef shop. It's great. Everything's fresh. You know where the meat comes from. Tongue gets aged there. It's good. Go see Mr. and Mrs. Myers there and the little gang. So, we mixed it up all nice. I have my little chunks of half-cooked meat there. And it should be nice and gluey, which it is. Oops, got some on the counter. And look how easy that is. Okay, so for mixing it, I probably would have had everything, if I didn't know what I was doing, everything in a little tiny on top of a plastic cutting board, because we use plastic cutting boards for meat and wood ones for our fruits and vegetables here. Um, so you should have a nice big loaf of this. It looks delicious. Except for one thing, it's not cooked yet. So what you do is you take your pan, and you put it in the pan. Oven ready, go good. Awesome, that means I can cook it right away. So you want to go like bloop, 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 push down the edges so that it creates a little bit of a hollow. So if you're going to put, um, we usually put, what did we do? We put a uh, mushroom soup on top. You know, mixing, you just plop it in this bowl here, you goop it up and then you pour it across the top. Um, if you push down the edges like so, then it creates a nice little loaf shape and it'll catch in the edges. In this case though, I'm going to wash my hands first. still feel greasy, but you know what? They're washed, they're clean. I always feel greasy when I use soap. I don't know, it's just how I get. That can go in the sink. I don't like that. But if you don't want to use good old mushroom soup, you can use ketchup. Lots and lots of ketchup. And you know how you do that? You don't even have to measure it. You just go like this. Go get it in all the crooks, the gooks, crannies. Just lather it on there. Okay, soon you're gonna have what looks like a big old meatloaf pile of ketchup, but it's not. So you can take um, your fingers, you can use a spatula, you can smooth it out if you want. I'm okay with just having it like this. And then I put it in this little container which has like the hooks that you can lift it up with after. But you'll want to put it in something that'll catch drippings in case you get some. Um, you could have it just a regular container, put tin foil over the top, and put it on a cookie sheet, and that'll catch it. Um, in this case, I have this container, so I don't need to worry about that, but I'm going to put the tin foil on. Tin foil! All the time, tin foil! Now, I just put it on the one container. Because that way, if there are drippings, it'll stay with just the one container and it'll fall in the second one. Oh, nice. 
nice and tin foiled up. You guys drop it in that. And you open your oven. I always wait for the big whoosh to come out of heat, otherwise I burn my face. I see we'll double. I'm a little paranoid when I cook because I don't cook often, let alone bake. So I'm gonna put that cookie sheet in the bottom. Put this in the stove, close it up, and we cook it for an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. So we time it. Go faster. So we'll go with 30 to begin with, press start, and then with the magic of television, also known as the TARDIS noises, we'll come back in an hour and a half, see if it's ready, if not, we'll clean up for more, if not, see you soon. I'm not going to be able to show you the end of this because the house is going to get busy here right away. Um, we have some people coming over, um, aka my mother and father. We'll be home from work soon and I think we are having someone over for dinner but I forgot. Um, there's plenty of meat for that so don't worry about that. I'm going to also cook up some uh, peas, carrots and some other little side things so that will cover that. That's my oops. Um, but that should be it for cooking with Antibus. We'll do this again another time, perhaps if you want, like, favorite if you enjoy. If you want more, you have to let me know, otherwise I won't do more. It's not that hard of a concept. Um, I still have an hour left of cooking, so it's only been 30 minutes. Um, and I'm supposed to tell you meat, because meat is delicious. And I wanted to clarify, um, I think what I was saying who to go see for the meat, the Acme Meat Market, if you're local here. Um, I said the little gang, just so you know, the little gang. Um, it's Corey Myers and his wife and my mother and three or four, three, three others permanent and they have a mate student with them as well. Um, so it's, it's quite a little group considering it was just three people when my mother started there. It was her and Corey and another person. And it's a good meat store. I recommend you get your meat there if you can. Um, they're really busy right now. They'll be closed for the Christmas holidays, so you can't wait now. Um, I believe they close Friday is their last day or Saturday? Saturday. Saturday is their last day until the new year. Um, and even after that, everything's going to be great. Um, I know they've gotten busy with all the um, bad things that have been happening with meat lately. So if you have a really big order you want to do, I recommend calling them and making it. Instead of just going in and expecting to get like 50 pounds of beef and 50 pounds of lamb or something. And you can hear my dog whining in the background because my dad's home. Um, so I'm going to sign off. I'll say I'll take a picture of it when it's done so you can see how it turned out. And um, we'll, see you <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye!